Hey, I wanted to jump on and just say thank you all for being here, uh, for, for still sticking this thing out with us because we're all here for different reasons, right? We're all here for different reasons. I know that uh, for, for some, we're here to, to make sure that we have a company to come back to, right? For some, uh, that that's uh, the, the, the purpose for, for still being here. And I was asked the other day why I'm still here because for me, to have a company to come back to, I know that there, there are many, many, many companies to work for and work with, and I, I love Mattress Firm, but that's not enough to keep me here to have a company to come back for. That's not why I'm here every day. The, the reason why I show up to work is not so that the building can stay open. It's not to keep the lights on. I'm here for something different. I'm here for something more. And so I, I really took some time to reflect on that. Why am I still here in this time when uh, I, I had the option, right? Everyone's uh, uh, having the option to go furlough and, and you can get unemployment and uh, all this uh, with, with the furlough movement. And uh, if, if we're going to make the same amount of money, why would you still come in? And I'm thinking if you're going to make the same amount of money, why not? Why not come in and, and see what happens if there's an opportunity to, to make more? Why not come in? And so that was my first reaction. And that's what I responded whenever I was asked, uh, why am I still here? And uh, I took some more time to reflect as I normally do. I wrote it down in my journal and I thought and I reflected and and uh, something came to mind uh, from Jim Rohn that says that the greatest value on the job is not what you get, but it's what you become. And, and thinking about it, that's why I'm still here. It is for what this will make of me. It's for what I will become in this time period because what it took to be successful in January, what it took to be successful in February is different than what it's going to take to be successful today. And it's going to you're going to have to become something different, something more, because right now I know firsthand for a fact that there are people out right now completely crushing it. For a fact, I know right now that in different industries, there are people out there completely crushing and taking advantage of the opportunity at hand right now. And though we have these challenges, though we have adversity, though we have uh, all kinds of barriers right now to in line of our success with every adversity carries with it the seed of an equivalent opportunity and I know that there are people out there right now taking advantage of that opportunity I heard it on the call that there are people out there right now that are in markets where they only have phones only phones only appointments only phone sales right and so in this time period we have so many resources for us to be able to learn these skills to become something more to to take advantage fully of the opportunity that we have right now. I believe that with this opportunity right now, we can actually make more money than we ever have before. See, I believe that if we start learning to set appointments and we have an appointment every single hour, that appointment has a far greater chance of purchasing. And also that appointment that shows up is going to be with reduced hours right now, five people to come in to see you today. Today we have that opportunity and the resources. And so that's why I'm here because I know that the same wind is blowing on everybody right now. The same challenges are falling on everybody right now. And there are some people out there learning to cut a different sail, to set a different sail and use this wind to push them forward. And there are others out there, including myself right now, that are sitting in their boat feeling the wind, waiting for it to pass. And for me today, it's time to, to make some changes, to become something more, to, to overcome some fears, right? And so today I'm asking, are, are you buying fear? Are you buying opportunity? Are you feeding into everything that's going on in the media, everything that's happening around the world right now? Are you buying into fear? Are you buying into the opportunity that we have in front of us today? And so I challenge you, what will you do today to make a difference? Because if something's going to change, the you have got to change. The circumstance is not going to change. It'll pass eventually, but for today, it's not going to change. The only way that something changes for you today is when you change and you, you choose the opportunity and overcome the fear.